Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to prove this expression where z is a function of u and v and u is lx plus my and v is ly minus mx. Now, as the first part, we are going to find dou z by dou x. Now, this is nothing but dou z by dou u into dou u by dou x plus dou z by dou v into dou v by dou x. Now first term dou z by dou u as it is differentiation of u partially with respect to x is L. Then other term is 0 because y is constant and m is also constant. Plus dou z by dou v into v with respect to x is minus m. So we got dou z by dou x as dou z by dou u l minus dou z by dou v into m. Now we have to find its second derivative that is dou square z by dou x square which is nothing but dou by dou x of dou by dou x with respect to z. So here both are dou by dou x but one is without z and another is with z. When we are taking without z, this term should be written without z. So first term we have to write without z and for the second term we have to write with z. So this will be dou by dou u into L minus dou by dou v into m whole bracket into dou z by dou u into L minus dou z by dou v into m. Now when we expand we get dou square z by dou x square as first term is dou square z by dou u square into L square. Then this first term with this second term will give dou square z by dou u dou v into Lm minus dou square z by dou v dou u m into L last term plus dou square z by dou v square into m square. Let's keep this as the first expression. In the same way, we are going to find what is dou z by dou y, which is nothing but dou z by dou u into dou u by dou y, then plus dou z by dou v into dou v by dou y. So this will become dou z by dou u and partial differentiation of u with respect to y will be just m. So here we write m plus dou z by dou v as it is and partial differentiation of v with respect to y will be just l. So we will write it as l here and we got dou z by dou y and its second derivative dou square z by dou y square is dou by dou y of dou z by dou y. So we have both the terms dou by dou y but one is without z other is with z. So without z we should write this term without these z terms and for the second term with z we have to copy along with z. So the first term will be dou by dou u into m plus dou by dou v into L then dou z by dou u into m plus dou z by dou v into L. Now when we expand this we get dou square z by dou y square. So first term is dou square z by dou u square into m square then this first term with this last term will give dou square z by dou u 
dou v into ml then dou square z by dou v dou u into lm and the last term is dou square z by dou v square into l square let's keep this as the second expression now we are going to add 1 and 2 so in the left hand side we get dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square and on the right hand side we are going to add the like terms so this term and this term you can take dou square z by dou u square common so dou square z by dou u square common we get l square plus m square then coming to the other terms this term minus sign and here we have the same term with plus sign so these two terms will get cancelled while adding in the same way we have this term minus and this term plus so these two also will get cancelled while adding then coming to the last term we can take dou square z by dou v square common we get l square plus m square so we have to write plus dou square z by dou v square we get l square plus m square now we are going to take l square plus m square common so we will write the left hand side dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou y square equal to let's write l square plus m square term common then we have dou square z by dou u square plus dou square z by dou v square so the term which we have to prove dou square z by dou x square plus dou square z by dou x square is equal to l square plus m square into dou square z by dou u square plus dou square z by dou v square which we got it here hence proved